right. Movie face off. Horror specific films. And traditional five rounds. Back to normal scene routine. Like it. So, A Quiet Place and Upgrade. At first, these films admittedly don't seem to have a whole lot in common, but there are some similarities. They're both based on original ideas. They are both horror films with sci-fi elements, and they both went on to get commercial and critical success. Although in terms of box office, A Quiet Place did pretty much outbeat Upgrade several times over, but that's not really the main point of this face-off. It's to figure out the best elements, themes, and parts of these films that work better than others. So, let's get into this horror face-off. Let's start with round one, obviously. Main character. With A Quiet Place, it's focused on family characters. You've got... I already forgot John Krasinski's character's name. Let's just call him Jim. You've got Emily Blunt's character, Evelyn, the mom. You've got their daughter named Reagan, and then you have their son, whose name I also forgot. Now, it bounces back and forth between John Krasinski's character, Emily Blunt's character, and, of course, their daughter in certain parts of the film. It never really picks one specific character to really dig into. It's focused on the whole group. And that is its movie strength, well, one of its strengths. But in terms of figuring out one main character to stick with throughout the film, it bounces back a little, just enough for us to get to know them, but not necessarily pick a certain character to really root for. Which isn't bad, but of course it's more ensemble, so something's going to have to give. With Upgrade, you have Grey. The guy who lost his wife in a car accident became paralyzed from the neck down, and he is given a chance to seek revenge for his wife against the people that caused her death. We really get to know him on a personal and psychological level. We see the kind of emotion he's going through and the pain he's in throughout the entire film. We really connect with him. And so, based on just that level of intensity, we give this round to Upgrade. Move on to round two, supporting cast. Like I said, Quiet Place is more focused on ensemble cast, so this is where the movie really starts to get its strength from. Getting to know this entire group as a family is essential to the film because that's one of its main themes, family. And so get to see these characters talk, well not necessarily talk, but communicate and react and just overall be around each other and we get to actually see how they behave and act and connect with one another on multiple different levels. Really makes you see like this happening to a real family. With Upgrade, I can't tell you the name of any other character in this film other than the AI program, STEM. Now STEM is of course a lot of fun. But there are a couple other characters I can remember, but they honestly don't factor in too much into the plot. They have specific important roles, yes, but they don't really do much to really support Grey in a certain sense. I mean, they're here to help Hell on his journey, which is what a supporting character is supposed to do, but none of them really stand out enough in a way where... I can think about them as well as Grey. It's really focused on Grey. So, with that in mind, I'm giving this one to A Quiet Place. Let's move on to round three. Story. The story of A Quiet Place is that after an alien invasion slash attack, a lot of the people died in the initial contact. But there are certain people living off in the woods or in isolation, and they can't really talk at all because that's what attracts the aliens to them. So they have to live without making any kind of major noise. So, that's a really tough thing to work around. With Upgrade, the story of the film is something pretty familiar. There's a guy who has a good life who loses 
everything in his life to a certain accent that was apparently manipulated by a certain group of people or a person. It keeps that a little bit of a mystery. And then he gets a chance to find a way to get revenge against the people that destroyed his life. It's a more or less your standard kind of revenge film. But one that has a bit of a dark sci-fi edge as well as some body horror in it, which, which is always fun to watch. Now, of course, one of the disabilities of A Quiet Place is also arguably its greatest strength. The, the characters can't really talk. I mean, there is noise in this movie, yes, sure. And there are a couple small parts where there, it is safe enough to have a little bit of a conversation, but these characters have to tell a story without dialogue throughout the vast majority of the film. And that really plays into this cinematic experience because movies are essentially about supposed to be about visual storytelling. I've seen a lot of movies that get really bogged down with exposition dialogue. And having dialogue is of course important in all kinds of storytelling. But to actually see a movie really rely on visual storytelling using facial cues, the entire scenery, the entire shot to express what is going on in this moment, what's going on in the story, what's going on with these characters, it is an impressive feat. So, this round goes to a quiet place. Now let's move on to round four, action. A quiet place isn't really about action, but there are a couple of moments where it is like that, building up suspense and also getting into the actual climatic moments against a couple of the aliens and a couple of like chase experiences, a little bit of hide and seek. It is fun to watch. Upgrade though, it has a lot of fun with the fact that its main character is being controlled by an AI program. Using all these kinds of different moves, they, there is no way he could have done himself against a good assortment of people. It's gory fun. It is very entertaining to watch, and it can be a little bit dark and brutal at certain points. To see a film have this much fun with its action, not to say A Quiet Place didn't have fun or didn't enjoy its more action-leaning scenes and moments, but Upgrade really digs into it. So I'm giving this round to Upgrade. Now let's move on to the fifth and final round, arguably the most important part of any horror film, Atmosphere. Atmosphere is key in a horror film. It can turn a bad movie into an enjoyable enough movie, but it can also turn a movie that on paper is great, but with a lack of atmosphere, really make it mediocre. Thankfully, both these movies have good, solid atmosphere, but which one does it better? A Quiet Place takes its influence from films including Alien and No Country for Old Men, which can be clearly seen in this film. And those are good movies to take it from because No Country for Old Men is mainly more of like a slow burn, kind of more of a thriller kind of thing. Alien, it's thriller but also pretty much a horror film too. And the goal, and of course this is monster territory and it does have it does know when to keep moments more emotional and moments more suspenseful and more just on the edge of your seat. Upgrade has that vibe of 60s, 70s, maybe even 80s borderline exploitation vibe to it. That may seem like I'm really discrediting this movie, but it actually really works in its favor. Because we've seen these kinds of similar movies like Upgrade back in those decades that have come, gone to become pretty famous cult classics like Death Wish. And a lot of cult films do have a lot of similarities with Upgrade, but Upgrade gives it a more polished, stylized look. And it really does lean in it and embrace that 70s, 80s exploitation, body horror, dark sci-fi atmosphere. But it does know when to. It knows when to not go a little too far, and it does 
create its own kind of unique atmosphere with in terms of storytelling and certain moments in the story as well. There are a lot of movies similar to both of these kinds of films. Quiet Place is more of like the whole polish, it's supposed to be more of a big bu budget polish horror film. With Upgrade, it is made for people that are very much into this genre, very much into this type of movie. Although I have to pick which one really does have the better atmosphere. I'd say Upgrade is more welcoming of its horror roots. Not to say A Quiet Place is ashamed, it's very much a horror thriller film. But, of course, its main focus on family and like group dynamic and more emotional moments. And it does feel at certain points more of an like a action film in certain moments than it should probably be of a horror film. It's a little tough to explain, but hopefully you get what I'm trying to say. Point is, giving this round and the face off to upgrade. So that's a good horror Halloween focused video. Like, comment, subscribe below, share, and see you guys next time.